Welcome back to World Spotlight TV. Manchineal wood, not to mention the effects of inhaling the stuff. However, Caribbean woodworkers have long used manchineal wood in furniture after expertly cutting it and allowing it to dry in the sun to remove the sap's poisonous properties. The true deadly threat comes from eating its little round fruit. When severe vomiting and diarrhea have completely dehydrated the body, eating the fruit might prove lethal. 
Because they only ate a small portion of the deadly apple, Strickland and her buddy were fortunate to survive to tell the tale. Strickland published a letter in the British Medical Journal in 2000 that went into great depth about her problems. They gently sipped pina coladas and milk while their discomfort gradually subsided over the course of more than eight hours. The medical symptoms include, contact dermatitis, blistering of the skin, conjunctivitis with blindness for up to three days, and severe gastrointestinal symptoms if ingested. Juan Ponce de Leon's second expedition to Florida in 1521 is thought to have been the occasion for the Calusa to utilize it in that fashion to murder him. According to UF, Juan de Leon was wounded by a sap-tinted arrow in a battle with the Spaniards in 1521. The tree was thereafter referred to as Manzanilla de la Muerte, or Small Apple of Death, by the conquistadors. Manchineal trees are one of the most deadly plant species worldwide, even though not all of them are painted in this manner. Because the plant's fruit and foliage resemble those of apple trees, it was given the Spanish name Manzanilla, which translates to small apple. In actuality, all of the ominous titles are justified. The manchineal is a very common-looking tropical plant with bright green foliage and spherical, yellowish-green fruits. But don't be fooled, the manchineal is deadly throughout. If you come across one while taking a walk on the beach or having an adventure in the mangroves, it is recommended to keep your distance from it as it is one of the most hazardous tropical creatures on the planet. Despite having a reputation for being deadly, the manchineal is one of the biggest, growing up to 50 feet tall. Hippomenon A and B are among a variety of known and unknown toxins found in the tree. Some poisonous plants and animals take their time before acting. Reactions to sap can cause everything from a rash and headache to acute dermatitis, life-threatening respiratory issues, and temporary agonizing blindness. Interestingly, while naturalist and botanist Roger Hammer confirms the manchineal is the deadliest tree in the country, he claims it is not the deadliest plant. In Florida, there are other plants, not trees, that are far more toxic than manchineal, one of which is spotted water hemlock, Secuta maculata. A quarter inch of the stem is enough to kill a person, he claims, calling it the most violently poisonous plant on the North American continent. It's also found in Florida, America's strangest, most fascinating, and apparently most dangerous ecosystem. What should you do if you encounter a manchineal tree? The Centers for Disease Control recommends rinsing with a good degreasing soap or, better yet, rubbing alcohol if you come into contact with any poisonous plant. If necessary, scrub under your nails. Then, use wet compresses, oatmeal baths, and an antihistamine to relieve itching and irritation. If the situation is critical, go to the emergency room. I sincerely hope you enjoy this video. If you have any requests or recommendations, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel.